There was this, but then there's also this. Hi, it's V. Let's vibe. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, we travel around Jamaica and I show you how beautiful Jamaica is. Today, I'm taking you all on a tour again. We're going back to Chapleton. So if you're interested in coming with me to Chapleton, stay tuned and let's drive. So folks, just quickly, so I'm back in my, my track here top. And I must say that it's one of my favorite tops to wear because it's like a top and a jacket all in one. Um, and I like it. But me have to remind myself, say, ma'am, we cannot be wearing this thing over and over again. And it's not become a business where people, like I said, it's because I try to preserve. So like I wear a lot of blacks. So one way to preserve it is that, you know, you make sure you have how you wash them and all of that. But because of the material, um, you know, over time, if you wash, 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 then it's gonna just wear out. Better remind myself, said so Miss, just eat a little break, no? You know, because I mean, I don't know, just have a vibe. Give me a vibe that I'm looking for, and because of that, I like to wear it. Um, you know, that's just about it. But yeah, I have an interesting story ahead for you guys. You've already seen Mandela and the whole nine yards, so I'm not gonna bore you with that part but I will so once we get to the highway like the part where we pick up for the highway for Clarendon I will tell you about this quite this interesting story that I have about me and my journey um, and what could have been and what wasn't and the testimony so y'all stay tuned all right Okay, so it's officially story time. We're on the highway, the DJ Patterson Highway, we're heading that way. So I'm gonna give you all the story and I'm telling you, man, do I have a test? So, as usual, I mean, if you hear the ACs, it's, it's, they hear, I'll try to talk up so you can hear other things. But I was on my way to Mobe, um, and I left town a bit later than you. Right? But knowing me, me normally say, you know, say, goodness and mercy follow me, so I don't necessarily worry about traveling on my own. I've been doing it for a while, you know. Um, anywho, I was um, on the road, right about, you know, where that first toll, the, the initial toll plaza was. Um, that's right before you take on that Mount Russell bypass, right? I'm gonna start hear a sound and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, that sound like it's almost like when when a tire or like you know when a car really want a line or something like an engine mount, just a kind of vibe. So I was like, all right, that no sound, that no sound so right. I don't sound like Grace. That's what I call my vehicle. Um, so I said, no man, I don't sound my vehicle run, you know. So there I was. By this time, it was like after seven in the night. And I was going up the Mount Russell Bypass, still hearing the sound, and it I get louder and louder. I mean, I said, no man, something wrong. So I said, all right, I have a pullover, but you know, it's a, it's a, an uphill kind of, what do you call it, incline? Let me, tell, let me tell you. But yeah, so it's going up the hill, so I couldn't stop. So I thought it was unwise to stop up on the, you know, on the hill like that. So I went all the way up to the top part of the hill where you almost see the, um, Saint Anne sign, right? Because it's right in between Saint Anne and the Saint Catherine border. I say by this time now, um, it was obvious that something was going on because the sound got louder and everything. And I said to myself, "All right, first of all, me no say we can't call my parents, car. Me no, uh, you know, make them worried. But also." Um, what was happening at the time? It was between our thoughts. Yeah. So I pull over. At this time it was very cold. It was like 18 degrees outside. So I'll put the Celsius, the Fahrenheit on there. 
but I think it was maybe like 60 so anyway um I have to now put on my scarf you know you tie it where you tie up your head with because I'm going out you know remember now you know outside is pitch black I'll put in the footage for you to see um and it's 18 degrees and up on that hill part is very windy call my brother come and say all right at least I need somebody to know where my location is. It depends on the rim, it can't go nowhere oh, yes, else. Boy, you know, so something I'm going to Back one. Go away, but I'm going to look on it. Um, and right in that spot too, the service is almost like a dead zone. So the service is very poor. So we had issues like hearing each other at one point, like it hung up, I have to call back him and try and call him back. You know, that never helped the situation for him, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go, go check tire flat like flat 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 and i like so it gets off it flat so i'll try it as i say while i talk i'll insert the photos what, what that i have if i can't find all of them and i was there and i'm like whoa all right father god i may out a sign out and like this i'm a female i'm by myself and then even if i wanted to try and do something to try and change i've never had to theoretically I could change a tire practically I've never tried it before so I was like you know what even if I wanted to I couldn't because I have no light and that too reminded me that I need a flashlight for my car um I mean I have no light and two just being up there so on my own so I'm gonna sit down there I'm just sit down there for a little while I'm just sit down and I'm going think you know what what is my next move then I finally decided that you know what something has to happen but me don't know what the move would be yet. When me when me look, like I prayed about it already and I left it there. I know my brother and his wife, they were praying for me and the whole nine hours. Again, none of my family members knew. Nobody knew apart from me, my brother and my wife and he had him wife what was happening at the time. Um I sat there for a little while and then I saw a one light that come up. And um, something in my spirit said to me, you know what? Come out and find out a vehicle. All the time, me I say, what? Me I say, I talk to God. Me I say, Father God, I'm me alone. I remember, I say, me a female. And I want vehicle. Me say, I come. Anyway, followed the instructions and I went out there and found out the vehicle. Found out the vehicle. By the time me I found, me see one fly past a vehicle. I found out now. I found out the vehicle now. The vehicle, like it, it, it see me because it's coming up the hill. It's just that somebody have fun. Um, when it's about to come up closer to me now, it turn on the high beam. So it turn on the high beam. My sister, the, the light get right and I start fan down more. When me look, the vehicle pass me. But it passed me and go up a little bit more and stop. When it pull over, I realized that it was a police pickup. Folks, when me tell us, I go run to the officer. I say, officer, I God said you come tonight. It saved my life. Because who knows what could have happened on that road. Mind you know, I'm a female and I'm by myself. Can't drive coming to your flat. Long story short, let me tell my mother the story. She said, that's why I'm not going to drive at night. You know, you know, parents get dirty. Which I understand. And I understand it even more now after having that experience. Anyway, but that's not where the story ended. So um, I went to do what I'm doing a movie. And after I was done, um, so this was the following day, you know. And I went to say, all right, now let me patch my tire, come put on the spear and whatever. I'll go find out what is what with the tire. People, you know, say I bust the tire bus. The tire burst and I did not know that it, that happened. And I'm thinking about it immediately. I'm like, God, I thank you. Because it could have been so much worse. So, I know this is a long story, but we just share my testimony. So, y'all, if y'all want... <laughs> Anyways, never mind me. But I also want to take the time out to, to big up Officer Banks. He, at, at the time, he was heading to St. Anne. And oftentimes, we come on here and we tell, we talk about when prof, police unprofessional and they're this and they're that. But I'm telling you, on that night, him and his colleague, I never got the colleague's name, but I'm telling you, they, they, they actually, I believe they saved my life. I believe it's a God sent them become intercept whatever was not meant for me that night you know because as a woman now out here in these streets it's not like one time where you could have said why well, you know say people you're you're you, you you're not worried about that it is something that is real you know 
turn into something that happens like I wouldn't want nothing like that to happen so I ended up getting to to Mobi like maybe to 10 I think about to 10 yeah so I, all I could do was just sleep and get up back and do what I do the next day but man anyway that is that for my story I'm happy to be here big up officer Banks um, and I hope that somebody is watching this and, and tell him alrighty watch the road enjoy the trip alright back up to this place where it should be around about but there is none so um what in the world is going on here i'm looking for the exit <laughs> it's saying i should exit but now it'll go around some road business look here my father and i don't think it is because we should be up on the roundabout now but it's not that way Thank you. 
picture of Whitney like this in the face, not just a quick um, thing, but to see how we get here. Alright. Yeah, so we are now. Second time around. I think they should do it. They should do it. Where's Chapel? Oh, there it is. But it's not to my left, it's to my right. But welcome to Chapleton, folks. If it's your first time here, I'm happy to be bringing it to you. If you're coming back, welcome back. Alrighty, folks, so I just stopped my music that I've been listening to to show y'all Chapleton. Welcome, 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 <laughs> folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If it's your first time here, as we say, I'm happy to show it to you. I wonder if when we're done, we can go right under the arch. There. Why the arch looks like it's a, it's a police station arch, you see? And there's a clock here as well, folks. So if you've not been all oh, them paint up and stuff, oh, I like it. Oh, it's Chapleton Park. I mean, there's not much to show you over there, but if I get a chance to. There you have it, folks. That was Chapleton joke. <laughs> that was extra. We have this on, but yeah. So I was saying there you have it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back to Chapleton with me. If it's the first time here, you get to see another side of Clarendon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next parish. Mm -hmm.